think the Colts are going to beat the Giants. I think they go on the road oh. and beat the Tennessee Titans oh. and Andrew Luck's in the postseason. I have to say it's the Colts just because of the quarterback, Andrew Luck, playing at the level he is. You have seen that defense really step up, playing above the level of their personnel down the stretch. There's no reason to think that they shouldn't beat Tennessee. Now, can Marcus Mariota go blow for blow with Andrew Luck? Can the Tennessee defense slow down a Colts offense that seems to be finding its stride a little bit again? That certainly looks like the team that would be most dangerous if they can get it. Welcome. Welcome to your favorite Tennessee Titans weekly podcast. I am your favorite Titans analyst, Lorenzo the Hawk, bringing you love from Nashville. Wow. Sunday night, primetime versus the Indianapolis Colts. What more can you ask for? This is a big time primetime game, the biggest game of the season for the entire NFL. You win and you are in. If you are not pumped by this, you need to get your pulse checked, man, because this is a huge game. There's so many different scenarios, but at the end of the day, we win and we're in. The Colts are going to come in. They're going to be ready. Uh, when you look at their injury report, they do have a lot of players on the injury report. But look, they got T.Y. Hilton on the injury report. Do you honestly think he's going to miss this game? Of course not. Not with an ankle injury. The last time we played them on November 18th, he cooked us. Nine catches, 155 yards, and two touchdowns. So he will be ready. Andrew Luck, there was something in the paper the other day that said, you better not pout, I'm telling you why. Andrew Luck is coming to town. So this ain't Santa Claus. This is number 12, Andrew Luck, that's coming to town. We better be ready. But I do think this game is going to be totally different versus when we played them on November 18th. One, the guy, of course, Derrick Henry, he only ran the ball nine times. I think that's going to be a bit different this game, right? Hopefully, it's cold outside. And we have the Colts doing this on the sidelines, right? Since they play in a dome, though it's a lot colder than Indianapolis and Nashville, hopefully this is what they're doing. Because if it's cold outside, then that will affect the way that Andrew Luck throws the football. In colder games, he seems to kind of mellow out a little bit. Hopefully this will allow us to run the ball and play ball control. Andrew Luck has the propensity to throw the ball at times for interceptions. does have 14 picks this season, so be careful with that, right? So I think we have some opportunities there. But we have to do our best in regulating the Colts on offense. Their total offense is number seven in the NFL. That's incredible, right? They know how to throw. Then you look at Marlon Mack, he's not a bad running back. Marlon Mack right now has 789 yards rushing and eight touchdowns. He catches the ball pretty well as well. But when you look at our defense, overall defense is number seven in the league. So you got the class of the Titans, both for the Colts offense and the Titans defense. Who will fold between the two to win the ball game and to get into the playoffs? I'm telling you now, we will play much different than what we did. On the downside of things, we did just lose our best player on our team in Jarrell Casey. He is out for the season. That is huge. But it's the next man up. Who else will come up, step up, and make plays, right? Now, as far as the Titans... Man, have we had a lot of injuries. We've had injuries all season, but yet and still we have fought and we're at this point now to make the playoffs. There is a scenario where the Tennessee Titans could actually be the number two seed in the AFC. How is that, right? But again, that's from us beating some really good teams during the season. There's some losses we had that we shouldn't have had and made us in a better position now, but it is what it is. Keys on how we can beat the Indianapolis Colts. Now, Marcus Mariota right now is still hurt, dealing with the lingering stinger issue that he's dealt with all season. Blaine Gabbert, the backup, might have to start this game. Blaine can throw the ball, no question. Though he has accuracy issues, I'm not going to say that I quite trust him just on this game. Not really sure. So, what should we do? Yeah. Run Derrick Henry. Run the ball. He had nine carries on November 18th versus the Colts for 45 yards. Very respectable, right? Five yards a carry. I do think that's the formula that we're going to have to use to beat the Colts. 
This just shows his elusiveness and ability to jump cut here because he's a big, strong back. He's a banger, but he had a chance to jump outside mm. and make. What I will say is, is that that was something that we did not do versus the Colts on November 18th. That is why we have won five games in a row. Run the football. Block your man up front. Run the ball. Darius Leonard, the rookie linebacker, he does lead the NFL in tackles. He has 155 tackles as a rookie. He should be rookie of the year, though he didn't make the Pro Bowl, which I'm shocked. But he leads the league in tackles. So, you know, you know we we'll have to worry about him. We we'll have to put somebody on him. But once we can get past the D linemen and the linebackers, it's curtains. Their DBs are very shaky in tackling, especially on the corners. They don't want to see 250 pounds uh, come around that corner. They don't want to see that. Run the ball. Even versus the Redskins, that's what we did, and that's why we won the football game. Next, play defense. Play some zone, blitz. Andrew Luck at times, man, if you don't challenge him man-to-man -man where T.Y. Hilton can beat any of our corners on the outside, we can play some zone and have Kevin Byron and Kenny Vaccaro just sitting there waiting. Andrew Luck can throw some picks now, okay? He has 14 interceptions for the season. It's there. Even the New York Giants had some picks on him. Another difference between what we had this game versus the last game, our defensive coordinator was not there, and Dean Pease. He will be there full live in color. So let's get our defense ramped up. Let's play some zone, man. Don't man up. T.Y. Hilton killed us playing man last time. Zone up. Stay in your spots. Eric Ebron might not even play because he's dealing with a concussion and a foot injury. That's huge as well because we focus so much on the tight ends and we shut them down. But what happened? 13 went wild. He's been wild ever since. T.Y. Hilton over the last several games has been incredible. Keep your eye on T.Y. Hilton. No matter where he goes, have a safety to follow him. Now, Andrew Luck again, if you hit him a little bit and it's cold, that will affect him as well because he don't like to get hit too often. Nobody does, really. But Andrew Luck, it really impacts his game. Let's make sure to blitz him on every down if we can. Next, time of possession. The only way to beat the Colts, honestly, guys, is to have Andrew Luck on the sideline drinking Gatorade. That's just the honest truth. We need to just play slow. We need to play ugly. We need to make the fans or people that's watching the game yawn and just be like, man, this game is boring. As long as we come away with the win, that's huge. Keep Andrew Luck off the field. Andrew Luck is a problem. Very underrated as well. People talk about Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, Drew Brees, Patrick Mahomes. Don't forget about Andrew Luck, man. Keep him off the field, and we can beat the Indianapolis Colts to go to the playoffs, baby. Let's do it. Some other things to look for as well. The Indianapolis Colts are ranked number one in the NFL in third down conversions, 49.3%. So that tells you that this, these guys are very efficient on offense. You have to be careful for that as well when it's third down to make sure that we make plays on defense when Andrew Luck is on the field. Another thing as well, Darius Leonard. Again, as I mentioned, he leads the league in tackles. But he also makes plays as well, even in the pass defense. You got to be careful with that as well, even the game-winning tip that he made during the game last week versus the New York Giants. As well, you got to look at T.Y. Hilton. As I mentioned several games in a row, he has been killing he has over 1,200 yards receiving this year, man. He even missed some games earlier this year. He has 74 catches for 1,200 yards, man. Those are big chunk yards. So on offense, we got Andrew Luck to worry about, but you better worry about T.Y. Hilton because he will be there and he will be ready. So next, we're going to bring in my boy, Jacques the Lockdown Corner. He's going to give you his analysis as well as he always does upon the Titans and the Colts. Oh, Jacques! Oh, what's going on, brother? What's up, brother? Good, sir. How you doing, man? Doing good, man. Good All right, this game. Yes, sir, man. man. It's on, dude. Let's go, man, bro. It's on. <laughs> so we got Jacques the lockdown. He's gonna break uh, his analysis about the Titans and Colts game. Hey, so this is gonna be one of the biggest games at Nissan Stadium, bro. Yes, sir. This is like this is this is like our playoff game if you really think about it, man. And Andrew Luck is 10-0 and 0 against us, man. It's something we're going to have to break. This is something that the Titans are going to have to stay focused. They're going to have to go in there with their game faces on. I don't care if we got Gabbard or Mariota, which I've heard he practiced today, so that's a good thing. Uh, 
Um, man, we, we have to do it, man. First of all, the last time we played the Colts, we didn't run Derrick Henry enough, man. We did not run Derrick Henry enough. This game, we need to run Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry, man, I'm going to be honest with you, man. 30 carries, I don't care. But Derrick Henry is the catalyst, man. Especially if Mariota's not playing. Right. If Mariota's not playing, Derrick Henry, you have to play. Because Blaine Gabbert's going to get you. The whole thing with Blaine Gabbert, don't lose the game. <laughs> don't lose the game. Go in there with a clear head, hand it off to Derrick. Get creative to the point where it's not cute, but it's, it's a creative enough to where we can keep the, the, the Colts defense on their heels. Because, be, to be honest, man, the Colts defense, the Magic, man, they, they don't have stars. They don't have stars. But they play good as, as a unit. They got that rookie Leonard. He's pretty he's, – he's decent. He's, dude's, dude's cold, man. But, but at the same time, you can run on them and you can pass on them, but they have our number. Now, if Mariota plays – it's time for Mariota to, to be primetime Mariota because he's been primetime. Primetime, the boy wins. That's right. The boy wins primetime. So it's important if he plays, hey, we have a winning shot. We have a winning shot. Play action. Utilize the play action. Get Taewon on some go routes. Run Henry. Um, um, defensively, we have to make sure, first of all, Casey is done, man. Casey's out. Out for the season. So that's, that's scary. We're going to have to have the next man up mentality to the point where Correa has to step up. Uh, Austin Johnson, you're going to have to step up. Uh, uh, Jones, you're going to have to step up. Benny Logan, we gonna need, we need to see you, bro. <laughs> we Absolutely. need to see you. Um, linebackers, man, you stay on your assignments. If we're going to play man, you keep a single high safety over T.Y. Don't let T.Y. get behind you. Everything stays in front. Buy 10 yards off. You can play 10 yards back if you need to. Don't let T.Y. get behind you. So my keys to the game. First, time of possession. Keep, if you keep Andrew Luck off the field, you're going to win the game. Second, we're going to have to get to Andrew Luck. We're going to have to cre create sacks, turnovers, or something. St DBs, stay on your assignments. Plays on. You see what I'm saying? And third, the 12th man, the fans, bring it. Let's go. We got to hear y'all. Yes, sir. We have to hear the Absolutely. fans. Yes, we got to get some. We got to be there. We got to be there. So that's my analysis. Yes, sir. Tighten up. And let's do it, man. Let's, let's go. Let's do it. All right. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go over the predictions for the game, the Titans versus the Colts. Jacques, you can go first. Man, this is the biggest prediction, bro, all season. Yes, it is. My prediction, I'm going to say the Titans are going to win, dude. Okay. I'm going to say the Titans are going to win, and I'm going to say 24 to 20. Okay. 24 all right. to 20. Okay. Titans. Sounds very similar to mine. <laughs> I promise. I'm saying the exact same thing. I think the Titans will win 24 to 21 in a very, very close okay. game. I think in the fourth quarter, what will happen, just like the Redskins game. I think, you know, it's going to get to the end, and then we're going to start running Derrick Henry a bit more in the fourth quarter, where the Colts will start getting tired and will allow us to score maybe a late touchdown at the end of the game. So that's our predictions. Let's go, Tennessee. Tighten up, baby. Let's go. So this ends the show. Good luck to those Tennessee Titans on national television. They even moved the game to prime time for the whole world to see. It's on the Titans here in Nashville to make that something of something special. We can. Uh, I do think we will beat the Colts based on us running the football and keeping luck off the field. So you can click the subscribe button at the bottom. Click like as well. We are on Apple. We're on Google. We're on Twitter under Titans Weekly 24-7. We're on Instagram. If you want to email us as well, you can email us at TennesseeTitansWeekly at gmail.com. Tennessee, here's your chance to show the world what we can do. We made the playoffs last year. Let's try to make it again this year. We win and we are in.